Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 11. Guys, we have like a nice studio audience here. We got all my friends. Make some noise for Episode 11. There we go. That was really good energy. I, I, that was a little extra on the end there, but it's really good energy in here. Guys, it's going to be a great episode. Um, we got Cam coming on later. Y'all love Cam. He's not a permanent co-host by his choice, not mine. We love him. And then we have Cam's wife here. It's going to be the first time y'all see her. We talk about her often, but uh, she's going to join the podcast later. We also got a good friend, Ashlyn. She's been begging to be on the podcast forever, but uh, it's going to be a great episode. We're going to have a lot of stories about me. I know a lot of y'all want stories about Peyton and his awkwardness. They know all of them. Stories that should never be in public, they will be public today. Also, it is episode 11. In every episode, I tell y'all, get your good karma in. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment if you see that it's empty and you haven't fulfilled your name in that comment section. It's episode 11. And that's an angel number, right? That's a that's what they say, angel numbers for 11? Uh, yeah. I think so. All right. Well, thanks for the participation, guys. But I'm not here saying I'm Jesus or I'm a Messiah, and I'm trying to say if you do this for me, you'll get good karma. But I got a comment last episode saying my good karma hit this week with a new job offer. I knew it would hit soon. So, guys, if you hit that subscribe button, you leave a little comment under there just saying, hey, Peyton, I see you're not wearing all black today. You're wearing a nice green shirt per request of my friends. Just say I look nice because I'm a little self-conscious right now. You might see a little sweat starting to formulate under the pit region. But hey, go ahead and get your good karma right now. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Um, normally, I would come in here and tell y'all like what happened in the week, what's going on with the news, what's happening in sports. But honestly, guys, like I just don't feel like talking by myself because I got all of my closest friends here and it's uh, really exciting to have them on. But I will talk about a little NBA action because I know a lot of y'all are a basketball audience. Y'all want to know what I think about the NBA. Uh, at the time of filming, this game one has already happened. Uh, the Warriors lost, which was a surprise to everybody. I'm just going to say this. It's not looking too good for the Warriors. If Clay is going demigod, or not Clay, sorry, Steph is going demigod, and then Jason Tatum is playing poor as hell, and the Celtics still win. That should be a red flag to any Warriors fan. But if there's like any like common uh, practices from the whole playoffs, then we should know that, you know, Every game has been lopsided. There's been 40-point wins, 40-point losses. I'm just glad that this is going to be a good series based off of uh, game one. But let's get um, Cam on the podcast. We're going to just talk a little bit, and then we're going to get his wife, Liv, and our friend Ashton on. So let's uh, get to the rest of the podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. Guys, we got Cam back on the podcast, who's not a permanent co-host, even though we all would love, I would definitely love you to be a permanent co-host. The comment section, the comment section would want you to be a permanent co-host. And he hasn't given me the contract. There's nothing in paper and pen. So until then, don't, don't let do him that. lie to you. Don't it's it's not it's not me. It's him. Don't do that because you know I'm about to get a bunch of comments saying, "Peyton, you're a bad person. You should let can be a permanent." Co-host. I'm just I'm kidding, guys. Uh, Tell them why you hate me. them and don't want them. I don't to hate see y'all. you. Love all of you. Love him. Love everything he's doing. But uh, just can't be a full time co host yet. Got my own little agenda to take care of and certain things. There's no love lost. Love coming here all the time, but. Just maybe down the line, I can be perm- go get me a little t-shirt that says co-host Cam. I'm just going to make a t-shirt. If you something. go to the mall and go to one of those kiosks and print out a you should know t-shirt, I happen. might never speak to you. It's going to happen. I'm going to just walk up. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. You should know on the back, big and bold, co-host Cam right there. I'm just wear it every set. So Yeah, no, it's not happening. Or we're, There's going to be a cease and desist hitting at your front door right there. That's but before we go into anything else, do you do you notice anything you know different about the the set here at you should know studios Cock-cock. is it a bird is it rent? some fowl there's there's animals oh we're in a jungle yeah we're in a rainforest added some foliage behind the tv like making it. it look how I does like it look it, if it you're, looks good it looks real you know full add some add some texture you know i like it a lot you know as much as comments don't bother me and like i get Thou- you know, thousands of comments and yep. people like talking about me. Somebody said that the <laughs> podcasting set looks like an insane asylum. I had to, I had to add something to it. Yeah, there were a lot of white walls, but <laughs> it was good though. It was, it was like a sleek look. Yeah. But now this just adds, you know, a little, little oomph. Little it makes it look nice. Oomph. We just talked about, um, what did you say something about the mall? Mm, oh, going to a going kiosk. going and getting a shirt saying co-host camp. Okay, I just... 
that brought something up. I was in the mall the other day, and you know those people that are at the kiosk and like stop you and try to sell you stuff. I think as a collective <sighs> unit, we all are just kind of like iffy towards those people. Like I don't bother don't me. I, I don't want whatever you're selling. Don't flap anything towards me. Yeah. But I think we should give those people more respect because do you know how hard that job is to like oh, yeah. stop somebody? Like imagine you know how bold you have to be to go. Exactly. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I wash your hands right here in this bowl of water with this <laughs> soap that I'm selling from from wherever? It's no. It's like it's you got to be a bold person. You got to be able to take no's, no's. A no is at least, to me, a no is a little better because they're at least acknowledging your presence. And, like, they're they're <laughs> speaking to you. I'm the type of guy, they'll be like, excuse me, sir, you want to try this cologne? I'm just like. Yeah, like you've never. <laughs> I don't. I literally. I do, just that has walking. to be one of the hardest jobs in the world. Like, imagine Peyton trying to be one of those people. How do you think a day of me trying to sell people stuff in the middle of the mall You wouldn't would last a day. You would not last one shift. You <laughs> would last. You would last probably like an hour to two hours. Your first one, you'd be like, all right, you're pumped up. And you'd be like, hey, excuse me, sir, can I clean your shoes? Piss off, loser. <laughs> you'd just be like, oh, oh. And you'd be hurt. You'd go back. You'd rethink your whole life knowing you. And you'd be like, oh, do I really need to sell this? Do I really need to do this right now? And then you'd look at it. You'd get all hype again. You know what? No, adversity. I can fight through it. You'd get right back up. Excuse me, ma'am, can I uh, brush off your... No, I'm good. And you'd just be like, this isn't for me. And then you'd leave. That's what you would do. Yeah. That's why those people, it's like, like you said, props to you, respect, but they are, they got to be willing to take a lot of denial and be bold. So... Yeah, I have too to low of self-confidence to get denied that much. <laughs> I, I have to stop whatever I'm doing if I get denied that much. Yeah, that'd be rough. But there's a lot to talk about, man. Uh, we're going to get into it later, but... Fresh off of a marriage, congratulations. I was there. We're not going to talk about it right now because we're going to have your wife join and Ashlyn join. We were all there at the wedding. Um, and it was, a, it was a great time. But we're going to tell some fun. stories it from there. Um, but, you know, oh, also, insane that the guacamole video that we did where we, I was trying the guac on camera yeah, did that. Try it with a spoon. Yeah, well, we're, not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No. I think we should. I'm going to bring next week or the next next week, whenever I'm back on, I'm going to bring something else. I'm going to nope. do my investigative work. Nope. I'm going to bring something else. going to pop it out. He's going to try it again. Guaranteed. I saw all the comments. We need more new taste testing. Yeah, well, There's I got a lot of those comments. I got you. So comment right now if you haven't commented already and you're not. If you haven't tried to get your good karma already from the intro of this podcast, go ahead and leave a comment right now if you want that to be a segment. I, I, I pray that no one wants that to be a segment. It's going to be. Because you know how I am I with got foods. I, I'm a quick, uh, 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 Nope. <laughs> nope, vomiting person. Like I, 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 I anything that You're goes a down quick that's vomiting person. There's sometimes when I mess up and you just need to ignore it. You don't need to talk about it. And that's that's a good topic. I'm the king of typos. And I I will uh, I will send a text. I'll send a tweet. Ninety oh, percent of the time, I'll Something's leave a typo. Wrong. Yeah, I hate that. but I've gotten to the point where like I don't care anymore. You know what I meant. Yeah. And the and the thing that gets under my skin, tickles my twisters, is when somebody puts an asterisk and then puts and the then correct oh, form. God. It's like, hey, you don't you don't need to do that yeah, because you obviously me. knew That's me though, what I was lie. trying to say. Yeah. What are you gaining from putting me publicly on a pedestal and saying, hey, this guy's an idiot? Yeah. We all knew what I meant. Here's your ABC check. Yeah. Like they don't even. Yeah, that's me though. To be honest, why? The, what do you gain? Uh, nothing. I don't know. It's the. It's a power thing, it's, isn't it? Huh? It's not the power thing. You know, you better stop. No, it is not a power thing. It's just like a. Prof I think it's like an OCD thing or a perfectionist thing. So, Ooh, I hope the mics didn't pick that up. Uh, I think it's just like a. I mean, I, I don't do it to random people. If it's like a random, t if it's like a random tweet, it's like, oh, I went to Chipotle and my food was so trash and they spell something wrong. Like, I'm not gonna give. But if it's someone I know. That I know it could be like a slight little, like a little jab. Just hey, you messed up. You, you know, know I love I love my fans and like people that watch this video for a lot of reasons. But I like one of my most viral videos. It has like uh, like a couple million. In the title of it, complete typo. Like I mm. butchered the word. Not one comment saying anything about it. And they they know me. They know my intentions. They know my heart where I lie. So thank you guys for not doing that. Yeah. But um, we're looking at our whiteboard here. Here, you should know studios is very high production thing we got going on and um <laughs> one of the things i want to talk about is you know people got weird daily routines i thought as a collective unit 
from society that we were on the same page with certain stuff. Absolutely not. We are not. I was talking to some people, right? Okay, let's hear it. And I thought as a collective unit, when we brush our teeth, we were all on the same page of what we do. Get the toothbrush, start the faucet, put toothbrush under the faucet, wet the bristles. Wet the bristles. Then you grab your toothpaste, open it up, put toothpaste right on the bristles, already a little wet. Mm -hmm. Then, then you go re back under the re faucet. I'm going to let you finish and see if, you're a, see if you're a good person or not. There's more to do. I'm, no, I'm just tell me what's the next step. That's going into my mouth afterwards. So that's it. Your, There's another step. Your water bill just likes to climb up. You just <laughs> oh, I turn off the faucet. Obviously. There you go. Some people just no two but minutes straight water going. That's good. I like doing that sometimes. If I if there's a lot of like voices in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just look. go turn on music or something. Save the water. No, because I can't do music. Like I, I I'm a podcast person. Like whenever like it's nighttime, I need to wind down. I can't have Trippy Red screaming into my ear whenever I'm trying to wind down for the night. I gotta have a nice podcast on, soothe the body a little bit. Okay, but brushing your teeth is one thing. There's some sociopaths in this world. What do you do whenever you put on your shoes and your socks? Oh my God, I know exactly what you're saying. Every human is supposed, should, and it is it should be required that you go sock sock shoe shoe. Some people go sock, sock shoe, shoe, sock, sock shoe. shoe. If you, Absolutely not. That's like arrest them under the jail. Ev yeah, that. no, no recess. You don't no, get any like, outside time. Thirty minutes of your windows open and you're looking through the bars <laughs> at nothing because you're under the prison. So, yeah, that's that's sick. And someone very close and dear to me does that every single day. Who? <sighs> your wife? Uh, yeah. There's no way you do that. My thing is like, think, think practicality. Sock, sock, boom. Your house is on fire. Exactly. You have double socks on. You can leave. Yes. You can, some, if something ha someone knocks on your door. What are they going to think if someone knocks on your door and you answer it? You're fully laced on this side. One foot, one leg is naked and one is fully sh sock, shoot up and, and tied and laced. They're, it's you're it'll vulnerable. Never, yeah, it's so bad. You're, you're lopsided. <laughs> Bro, you, I mean. Uh, but uh, it's enough of that. No, yeah. that's, that's, it's terrible. And we need to, we need to fix that. We got to work on that. Because I be, care about it you. It needs to be like a seminar. Like a daily routine <laughs> self-help seminar. Oh, there's something that might be worse than the sock shoe, sock shoe combination. Mm -hmm. People that don't sleep with a fan. Oh, yeah. It, I don't care if you have a, a self fan or you have a fan sitting by itself or if you have the ceiling fan going. There has to be At some kind of, of rotation of blades going on. You can't just strictly rely on your AC. You can't no. do that. Regardless, if you can turn it down sub 65, still has to be a fan on. I don't care what the temperature is. Quick story about AC with sleeping. So my second year at JUCO. Me and Jay Willie, we talk about Jay Willie, Jay Willie a lot. He's going to be on the podcast. He finally makes huh? the, the quest down here. <laughs> he will certainly be on it. Me and Jay Willie, roommates. This is after Peyton already left. We started the year off seven weeks. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Seven weeks without air conditioning. No. Not like it, it broke and it can't get higher than like, or it can't get lower than 75. I'm talking... It was like 86 in our room. No. And we were college basketball no. players. No. You go to a workout drenched in sweat. You come back, take a hot shower. Then you get out and no start cool to down. sweat. <laughs> no cool down. It was m absolutely miserable. And then on top of that, twin XL beds. I'm already a large human. Mm -hmm. Live at the time. Was she was at a different school, but she would come down and stay sometimes. And I was like, for the love of God, I want to see you. I won't be able to sleep tonight if you come. The choice is yours. She goes, okay, great. See you in 40. And she would just be on her way. So two human beings, 86 degrees in the room. A, li a fan can only do so much at that point. It can only give you temporary, like, it, the, it's literally hitting my face. The wind is mm -hmm. from the fan. The whole room, the whole dorm's not cold, though. And it, it was it was rough. It was very rough. It's so. a JUCO life, man. I can't wait till like we have uh, Jordan come on and we can tell our crazy JUCO stories. No, I not. do have an update on the crazy coach. I do have an update. I don't even think I've told you. 
Uh, but I'm not going to say it until we do that episode. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for that one. Well, it leaves a little, little breadcrumb for the fans. I yeah. want to come back. I want to hit that subscribe oh. button. <laughs> Last thing I want to talk to you about until we get uh, Liv and Ashlyn on is uh, I saw this thing on TikTok, and it's a very controversial... It's very controversial. <laughs> Here, um, since, since everyone says... Oh, he's either talking like Peyton or Peyton's talking like him. I'm going to just voice over what he was going to say, and then you're going to go back to it. I saw this thing on TikTok, and it was a very controversial question. Que okay, question. Go. I lost so much confidence just now. <laughs> go for okay. it. Okay. So I saw this thing on TikTok, and it's been going viral, and it's a very controversial question. And I want to really know what you think about this, and I okay. hope we're on the same page. You haven't told me, so I'm going to give you my immediate answer as quick as I can. Okay. Uncut. Is there more eyes or legs in the world? First thought. First thought, if I had to answer in three seconds, eyes or legs, I'm going eyes. Yes. I'm going eyes. That's why I love you, man. Now. Don't. Don't. But you have to, you have to analyze it, break it down. No, I'm just going to end the argument right now. The reason that there's more eyes than legs in the world is because we've only discovered about 30% of the sea, of the underworld. Nothing <laughs> under there. <laughs> the underworld, nothing under there has legs. It's exactly. Fantastic. Everybody's they all have just eyes. swimming. They got eyes. Even a fly. How many house flies are? 100 eyes, each of them. Only two, to, only two to four legs. I'm not sure exactly, but they only got... A little two, two, exactly. maybe maybe four little landing apparatuses. Exactly, they got it. They can see everything though. Hundred eyes. And I know one person in the comment section would be like, "What about an octopus? Those or, aren't or legs." The, or the fly. It's actually one big eye with lines through it. Cut up. No, it's hundred eyes. Hundred eyes. They have a hundred different angles. I'm glad to know. And, and then some people were trying to be like, "Well, think about think about a spider. Look how many legs they got. Think how many spiders in you're in your house. Hey, fly. <laughs> hey, go to this underworld. Go to the sea and tell me how many fish you go see. to Atlantis. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I, like, just go to Bass Pro Shop in the little aquatic region they have. Yeah. You can see all those fish. That's true. That's, yeah, fi yeah, that's... Definitely more eyes than legs in the world, so I'm just glad we're on the same Hey, page. here's the next one. You okay. probably already heard it. Everyone's probably already heard it. It was kind of like a month ago, but I've never discussed Old it. Old trend. Great. Yeah. That's what we do here at the Ushinal Never Podcast. discussed You're going to get though. the updated stuff. Is there more... What was it? It was, uh, is there more, <laughs> is there more um, fish or insects? That's what it was. In the world. Oh, so damn. So, to go off of your thing, yeah, like only 20%, 15 30, You said 30 which I don't even know if that's a... I don't know. I kind of made that up. I think it's less than that that's yeah. been discovered. But uh, undiscovered, so all those fish, all I don't the know colonies of fish, everything. But then, one word, ants. <laughs> ants live in the millions, like so many I ants. I stepped on an ant pile before, and them things got to scattering. So I don't know. I really I haven't broke that one down and thought about it either. It's but got, it's hard to it's hard to not say it's got, insects because oh. insects are so small, so many all over the planet. But at the same time, like you said, with the fish, you, you we just don't know. We don't know. It's got to be fish. Think about like the I'm little stamping insects. Okay, but have you been in the ocean and you're like standing in a little shallow end and you can see where your feet are and then you see the little baby nematodes and they're just going yeah. real fast. Fish. Yeah. Think it's about you standing in a one by one square foot piece of earth okay think about all the bugs under it in it ants around it everything what like if you just stepped out and went <laughs> just stepped out backyard ant hill okay but then think of how much land there is in the world think of how much water there is in the world that's w what i'm saying way more water so there has there to be way more fish that's not like a direct correlation though oh uh, so you're gonna where you what do you mean there's some fish you can't see either because we only discovered like five percent of the world Ooh, we got a scientist behind the ooh, camera. My name's ooh, Ashlyn, and I do I, I, microorganisms. Yeah, like say big, say more big words, huh? Ooh, we gotta get a, a microscope and a telescope <laughs> to see these things. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go insects. He's going fish. Let us know what you think. I haven't broke that one. It's, I keep saying break it down. Like I'm gonna go crunch numbers <laughs> and figure. But like, just when you get some time to think about it, you try to think and you hear other people's things. But I'm gonna go insects. And on the first one. I think we're both on eyes. Eyes, and I'm going fish. I'm going insects. So um, right now we're going to take a little break because I'm sweating under these hot lights. Very gotta, hot in here. <laughs> I got to drink a little bit of water. And then uh, let's do this ad for Manscaped because Manscaped is back. Y'all did so well on the first <laughs> promo code. <laughs> hey, you used the promo code, didn't you? Uh, yes. How'd okay, you like that's it? okay. It's a, it's a bad – you caught me at a bad time. I'm not groomed right now. I know Manscaped's not even for up here, but I'm saying, like, it's yeah. not a great look 
that I'm a little scruffy on today's episode. Hey, don't but worry. Manscaped, it's phenomenal. Don't worry, because you can use this promo code in this ad coming up right now. So um, please, thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the episode and believing in me and uh, helping me get some plants behind the TV. Uh, I love <laughs> you guys. And uh, when we come back, we're going to have Cam's wife that y'all have heard a lot about and our friend Ashlyn. We're going to tell some cringy Peyton stories. So see y'all then. Scrap. Guys, support for the You Should Know podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. Gentlemen, Father's Day is just around the corner, and our friends at Manscaped are here to ensure that all father figures are out there looking daddy material this June. Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 includes their signature lawnmower 4.0, and it's the perfect bundle to tackle any and all old man hair from head to toe. This right here is no dad joke. Treat him and yourself and join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer to you. Get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with code PSH at checkout at manscaped.com. Trust me, his dad bod will thank you. Guys, it's summertime. We're going to have our shirts off, short shorts. We're hitting the beach. We want to look nice. We want our fathers to look nice. We don't want to be embarrassed by their their non-grooming. So go ahead and get this performance package 4.0 at manscaped.com. 20% off and free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this episode. And back to the podcast. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and we have lovely Liv, who happens to be Cam's wife, and then we have our friend Ashlyn here. That I'm took that was wife. out. What are we yeah. doing? That was, that was, wife. Uh, that's why I had to sit them on different couches. That was okay, we're not the cringy couple. No, that we're like not. All, no. No, we're not. No, no. No, no, we're not. No. Never. Can we no. talk about what just happened before we started recording? <laughs> no, that was just a behind-the-scenes thing. <laughs> He's the crunchy one, like the touchy lovey dovey. He is the, the touchy lovey dovey. Liv does not love like to be touched. I'm sorry that I love you. <laughs> Sue me because I, I love, love you, my wife. I can love you from a distance. Yeah, all right. I gotta be all up on you. Yeah, all right. It's 9 30 at night. I'm trying to just sit there and play the game or watch a show. Hey, uh, hey, babe, it's, I'm ready for bed. Come get in the bed. <laughs> yeah. I that have is. to go to sleep, so you have to be in the bed with me. You can love me from a All distance, right, ladies, my ass. Comments, tell me if you, when you go to bed, you want your man to come lay down with you. Okay, live with the call to action. Yes. That's what I like to see. <laughs> That's just a thing. Like I need to be touched before we go to bed. Like, oh, just a little God. Oh, God. <laughs> just this little is touch. public. No. <laughs> People are going to see just, this. Just a little, like, arm, just a little yes. cuddle thing. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> a little breakdown. I know a lot of y'all are confused, don't know the relationship here. So, like I said, Liv is married to Cam. We, uh, Ashlyn is our best friend. We've all known each other for an ungodly amount of time. We spent our, our like young adult life growing up together, and we're very, very close as a friend group. Like, almost, like, too close at time. Like, we know everything yeah. about each <laughs> other. We talk about everything. Way close. So, for the fans at home watching, they know I'm an awkward, weird human, and they want to hear... Uh, y'all's first impressions of me whenever we first met and even I don't even know this so what was <laughs> just explain the story of how we first met and was I weird or d was I a little awkward <laughs> I'll go first go oh, okay. so <laughs> the way I met Peyton was different than the way everybody else did because he was talking to one of my roommates <laughs> oh my at the time God. so he came <gasps> to I went to Oklahoma State so he came and um, my friend was like, hey, there's this boy I'm going on a date with. And I was like, okay, cool. We meet him. Well, first she shows us pictures. I was like, oh, okay. Like, he seems like an what innocent. What the hell kind of reaction <laughs> is that? <laughs> oh, like okay. A, he's an innocent <laughs> little, like, <laughs> light-skinned boy. That's what I thought. And then I met you, and I was like, oh, he's like one of those, like, dorky athletic guys, you know, that's not really full of themselves, that's and whatnot. And then... We didn't talk after that, and then we actually became friends, and then, and then you're pretty genuine. But at first, I was just like, you're just a dorky little hmm. light-skinned boy. <laughs> dorky <laughs> light-skinned athlete. Yeah, so we're off to a rough start, so <laughs> Liv? Well, my story kind of lines with her. <laughs> not, not with the dorkiness, but... No, so shit. Peyton, I was already at before you came, so I already like, knew... Like, all the girls like at on the basketball team, they, like guess they looked at the roster and who was coming before so we kind of knew you were coming but I didn't know exactly like who you were so we went to Cameron's room because we knew you guys were roommates and we knew Cam prior to so they're like oh this is Peyton and I was like oh okay like you know like again little light skinned boy not little light skinned <laughs> no, boy no no large <laughs> individual no, no he, he was pretty frail he was like, I, I, I like, immediately you know, looked at you as like a brother like yeah, I was like yeah. okay was, he's was gonna a small be family frame. like oh like you, like I said needed like, the I, weight room was your mom at like at time so yeah. i just looked at you like that oh he's gonna be a part of the family yeah. so i will never forget we were in like the way that our uh pods were set up 
because like at the very More beginning, pod we all stories. <laughs> yep. We went and hung out in the pod because it was like the first week there, so everybody trying to get to know each other. I never got to experience the pod. Oh my god, <laughs> it was so good. Ever. Yep. Before but we were sitting there and I looked back in the corner <laughs> and you were like just sitting there like staring into space like you weren't speaking to anybody like you were observing the room observing <laughs> sorry observing yeah. the room and I was like okay he's That's a little he different is. like you weren't speaking but it wasn't like okay he's creepy but it was just like I wasn't expecting that because you were already like talking with the guys and you were going with their vibe so I did not expect you to yeah. sit in the back of the pod and just sit there like and I'm pretty sure you have like this like big ass coat on. So <laughs> <laughs> That's the Oh yes. my god. Every Okay. Go to go to his TikTok and scroll down and look at the one. I don't know what it's titled. I don't remember the title of it. Roommate exposes me. Roommate ex Oh my god. She is talk th This is for all the comments. <laughs> there's no way that's true, bro. Y'all are capping. No, it's it's true. there's it's no very cap. True. This was Peyton. That's exactly that big what I ass hoodie on, and he was sitting in the back like a druid in the shadows of the room. And he was a just druid. like, just staring. And it wasn't like, like later in the night, you like got up and were like conversating with people. Yeah. But that first impression, I was like, okay, what is like, what is he doing? But Weird. later down the road, Weird. like Thank you. now until this day, I don't know how what I would be without you. So oh. great man, love him to death. Oh, thank you. But yeah, love Uncle P. Thank you. Uh, that kind of like, oh, yeah, his nickname's Uncle P. Yeah. So y'all can start spamming that. <laughs> oh yeah, he probably didn't like that I just shared that, but Uncle P. Uncle P. But um, but that kind of like that, since you said that, it reminded me like whenever me and Cam first met, whenever it was the first day of moving into our, our school, and we realized we were roommates, we dapped each other up, and I just went into my room and I was super quiet, like I didn't <laughs> talk to him at all. Mute. And I swear, like this is the reason why I hold Cam like so close to me is because he sat in my room and he's like, <laughs> "We're not leaving this room until you talk to me," and I was like, "Oh." okay and then we just like he took me through like this series of questions and then we found out we had a mutual like weirdness. love yeah and weird Cam has his weird things oh too. yeah oh he's no. a like, creature yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 i am that. yeah i am a i'm a cretin for sure there's oh, by the way quick thing there's a level of uh creatureness i guess for if y'all want to take this and adopt it so there's uh Creeps. A creep is like tier one, you know, ooh, that was a little creepy. They do weird things. Then there's creatures <laughs> that are have their own ways, do their own weird things. Then the the S tier, main tier is cretins. Yeah, They're cretins. So y'all are cretins? Yeah. We're oh yeah. certified We're cretins. cretins. Mm. In our own ways though. And yeah. you can we can camouflage it at some you know, yeah. some points of time. Some better than others. I really have a hard time. Yeah. Like there's some cretins in the world that's just like <laughs> you got it. Like I'm not that's that's you. But we I mean we just like our, but yeah, like I was like saying, this. So, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. There was so I remember so like me and Cam, we found out we uh we like really clicked on something, and I was like, oh, I, I like this guy, like we can be friends, and then but I was still like in my shell, like I'm really like to myself and reserved, like I have a hard time socializing with people, and then Cam was like, all right, come on, and he literally took me out of our room and he took me to every single room, and he was like, this is Peyton, this is Peyton, like this is so and so, and I was like, oh damn, this dude is dope, and then since then we've been. Uh, brother so uh locked uh yeah man i love you guy love you th that's my son bro <laughs> you keep Dude, doing I'm that so sorry. you keep doing that <laughs> and i have already told you how painful sorry. it is but love you too yes. all right since that's, we're in the, like the origin stories of uncle p since we're like in like this emotional kind of like we just confessed our <laughs> love oh for God. each other yeah. i didn't add my part but it's fine. No, what, what do you have to say? <laughs> no, everybody Did said some like sad. Yeah, go, He's go. Oh, oh, yeah, say something nice about me. Okay, well, now <laughs> you're like forcing it. <laughs> um, Peyton is very charismatic. Oh. Yes, for sure. Very charismatic. Will always be there for you whenever yep. you need him. Always. Good word. No matter the time, always. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Mm hmm. <laughs> what was that tune? What was that little noise? Is that from the upside down? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna, cause, uh, but it is crazy. I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to say it. These people are like the most important people in the world to me. And like, and I told them like after I stopped playing college basketball and I made the decision to stop and I was going to like uh, pursue this career and now it's like where it's at. It's crazy. And now that y'all are here doing it with me, it's insane. So thank you guys and I love you. But since we're in a, an emotional time, my two friends here, Got married this weekend. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, um, do I show mine too, or is that feminine? <laughs> is that like, go ahead, show. I don't know what you. No, mean. you got to do this. Yes. <laughs> you go like this. <laughs> I but, um, look at it. Let's share, um, like our overall thoughts of the wedding. We'll start with the bride here. Oh goodness. So how okay. do you think it went? 
It went great. Okay. Like it, it was. started it was out. A great wedding. Started out. Oh my goodness! I'm like <laughs> messing up all my words today. But being a bride, it can be very stressful throughout the day. But I had some amazing people around me all throughout the day that kind of just kept me calm. Ashlyn was one of them. Amazing bridesmaid. But it was great. It really was, especially getting married to your best friend. Like, it makes it even easier. Like, Cameron will tell you, like, he was like, I wasn't even nervous until I lined up. And I'm like, well, great, because I was in there sweating, pacing back and forth. Because yeah. She really was. I know. I literally I literally told Peyton, like, the whole time. So, first off, and I'm sure you all know this, but, like, all the women have to get there. At like, so our wedding was at 6. They got to the venue at, like, 10 a.m. They all disgusting. have to do their it it, their hair, like like we their were, makeup. They walk around. They take pre pictures. We were on the pictures, couch watching stuff. music videos. Yeah, we were we were on the <laughs> couch, chilling, watching music videos. Literally doing no, like we went out and we went to the city. We went and ate. We came back. Like it was just we were just big chilling. And and the whole day I was like kind of expecting like okay, there's probably gonna be you know when it hits three hours or something when I know it's like soon to happen. It's just gonna click and I'm gonna start getting nervous. I literally. Even when we got to the place at four, we started getting ready. We're all we're in the groom's room and everything, just again chilling, literally playing, uh, uh, the Switch, Smash Bros on the Switch. Yeah. We were drinking a little bit, not a ton, just like a little bit, you know. <laughs> I wasn't. I was responsible enough. I said, you know, I would never, I would never do that to Olivia. I would never, like, ever. I'm I was nervous. That's why I was drink yeah, drinking. Because and That's I fine. was emotional. Like, we, like literally, we were in the back taking pictures in our suits, and like, I was like. Jordan, come here, like, Javante, come here, let's take this picture in the mirror. And I was taking it in my hand. It was literally like, going like, like what's and wrong with you? And it just made it you? so more, like, emotional just because yeah. how long we've been friends and, mm -hmm. like, you guys have been there literally yeah. since me and Cam's, like, relationship since day one. Like, yeah. it started at that you guys watched it form. So, like, you guys being there made it, like, ten times more emotional and more, like, just surreal because it was like, oh, my gosh, like, this is really happening. Like, yeah. we knew it would, but it actually, like, we are actually married. Yeah. It, it was so. it was such, like, an emotional weekend. Like, I, some things need to stay private, obviously, because it was, like, a, it was like a, a, a intimate time. But, like, whenever the guys were just chilling, like, a couple of days before, we were, like, just sharing thoughts and feelings with each other. And then so that led up to the wedding. And the first time I got emotional at the wedding is actually when I saw you because we were all lined up waiting to, like, walk out. Yeah. And then... They're like, okay, the 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 bridesmaids, this is called, yeah. are gonna come out and they're yes. gonna line up. So we're called. <laughs> <laughs> and so the first person I saw was Ashlyn, and she was all dressed up and like ready to go. And I was like, oh no. And so we all dress up, but like that was like we all looked pretty good. Yeah, that we looked night. crazy. Like, it was, we had a good looking party. Yeah. yeah so uh, when did you first get emotional? I was emotional when we did our first look with Liv. I was about to cry, but nobody else was crying, so I would like looked around <laughs> at them and they weren't She's crying. Like, I can't so I can't be like, the only one. Okay. Yeah. No, that's what I told myself. I was like, I can't be the only one to cry. So I told myself, I told Zoe, her sister, mm -hmm. she was a little bridesmaid too, and she was standing by me when we were, what do you call it, in the lineup? Lineup. Yes. Like, yeah. That thing. I told her she has to wipe my tears for me because I can't mess up my makeup. But yeah. that's all I was thinking about my makeup. I was yeah. Like, I just spit. But as soon this. as she. As soon as we came down, Cam was already kind of uh, emotional. Oh, and we're going to get to that. Like, I was like, oh. So that's I like, don't know. so that going back to like what I was saying, that is when it hit me. Like I was completely calm, the whole room. Literally, even when, like all the way up to like the, um, like wedding planner or Brittany, whoever was helping, like whatever her title is, she, when she came up and knocked on the door and we opened it yeah. and she's like, all right, it's time to line up. Even then, I was like, I was like, I'm, I am fine still. But what hit me was when we actually went down, we went downstairs and lined up. And then once I saw all the people out there, mm -hmm. like already there, like in attendance waiting. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, Whew. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm literally about to get married in like 20 minutes. Like, and that's when it hit me. And then, so all my guys were already behind me. We're all lined up. My mom, I hugged my mom, my dad and everything. And then the bridesmaids came out like five minutes later. And then seeing all them, like Ashlyn, Zoe, Kia, Bria, Kenzie P, Shakela, everybody, Hannah, like Morgan, everyone that was uh, Amani, like everybody, just knowing all of them personally and like seeing them all come out wearing the same color, wearing their dresses, everyone looks amazing. And I was just like, ah, oh. yeah. like all my friends look so good. Everyone like this is just perfect. This is about to happen. And then I went, we went down the aisle. The walk wasn't that bad. I was really like nervous about the walk. Like I was like, I know by all means everyone's gonna be looking at Liv, but as the gr <laughs> as the groom, <laughs> you are the you're the right. first guy that walk like you're the first person that walks out. So I'm walking my mom. We walk out. My dad's behind me and my mom, and like everyone's looking at me, and I was just like, 
that's fine. You know, it, it really didn't even hit me. But then the song switched from the parents walkouts to the groomsmen and the bridesmaids. And that's when I was just like, like seeing a, a best friend of mine just keep coming down like in waves and then embracing all of them. And every single one of them had some super short and sweet to say in my ear, like, bro, love you, bro. Uh, th- she's absolutely the right one for you. I'm so happy Da da da. praying for you that you won't cry and become a mess. Like funny <laughs> things, you know, everything like go get them like all you. And it was just hitting me back and forth like each person. And then this the is last, the worst part, dude, <laughs> which the, is the right best part. when. So I, I low key forgot about our little um the flower girls yeah. and the um R- ring bear ring bears so they were when adorable. ryan and yeah. kinsey p <laughs> so ryan and kinsey p being the best man and the um maid of honor when they were done i was like oh my god lives next i was like Whoa. i was starting to feel it everything and then i and then the little kids walked out and i was like oh thank god <laughs> i was like i was like i get another 30 seconds they came out i got a, my little uh comedic relief like i got to give little fist bumps to because they were super young they're like three years old and then when they were done, the song just cut off, and it was like a second of silence before her song came on. And then uh, that's I was my just, boy lost it. Yeah, it was bad, and I knew I was gonna cry, but I did not want to cry that early. Like I was tearing up before, before I even saw Liv, and before she came out. Just this, like the song, like it was just so loud outdoors. Everything about it, and it just like hit my soul, and I was just like, it was perfect. Yeah, it was. It was. It was beautiful. I started, so I was sitting there like. I was taking these deep breaths and I was just like, and then I, right when I saw her, like the first little creep of her, like she turned the corner and I was just like, oh, <laughs> and I, start, I started tearing up. I literally had to turn around for like a brief second to like, you did, I, you did turn around to where I, like, I didn't oh, just cry and cry to where yeah. I didn't cry, cry that quick. And I was like, oh, I was cheesing the whole and I way turned back around thing. and like, right like, when I turned back <laughs> around, she had finished the curve and it was a straightaway to me. And she was right there with her dad, and I was just like, it was, I was like, oh, I lost my. it at that point. I yeah. was sitting here like, oh. I was like, oh, <laughs> that, my <laughs> goodness. And I just kept saying, I didn't know what else to say. I was nervous, and I just kept like, m- like mouthing to her from a distance. I was like, you look so beautiful. He told me that probably like, because like, I had to, <laughs> I had to say something, or else I was yeah. just gonna be like, oh, <laughs> 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 so yeah, it was really emotional. It was amazing, though. The thing about the wedding is like, it's so weird, like how waves of emotion happen. Like, so, I would be like, I'm crying heavy. And then I'd be like, okay, now this is like a really happy time. And then crying heavy and yes. then really happy times. Like, so whenever we walked out, I was like, happy time. Then I saw Cam start to get emotional. And I, that's when I lost it. So I was like, okay, sad again. Then I was happy again. Then you walked out and I saw your dad start crying. And mm-hmm. then you started crying. Then Cam was crying. And I was like, I'm a mess. And I looked over at Ashlyn <laughs> and Ashlyn was crying real bad. But then I kept my composure through the whole thing, maybe a little tears here and there. But so when we had to walk out, and this was, I was not expecting Me this. Me neither. I know exactly what you're doing. Oh, it was yes. so emotional. We walked oh back and then we all met in the in the building. Yep. For, That's and it was like just us. Tears were just flowing at that point. The first person I saw was Liv, who I look at as like a second mother. And she was so beautiful in her dress. Mm-hmm. And it was like the most important day ever. And it's the first person I see. And I'm just like, Liv. And I start crying. I hug her. Yeah, and then was... right after Liv, I see my best friend just standing there, Cam. And I'm like, Cam and I just started crying. I had to go into a little first corner. Time I saw y'all because I wasn't gonna do a first look with y'all, but I was like, Mm-mm, they're gonna get the same thing Cameron did. Like they're gonna see me as soon as I walk down the aisle. But w- that's the first time I like actually got to like hug you guys and see you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like it's the same thing. Like when I saw y'all, I was like, oh my goodness. When I saw Jordan, I started crying. Then when I saw Gabe, that's when I really lost it. Cause I was like, Gabe's her brother. By that's way. my brother. Like it's just it just made yeah. it so much like more. And thank yeah. you, Cameron. Yeah. When we for when we walked back in, it was that. crazy because like the the like the new upbeat song was playing. Me and Liv were <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, walking out, and then we got back there, and then once the groomsmen and bridesmaids just started piling in, like, in a, first off, it was hot outside, so, like, it was a cool room, everyone felt good, and then you would just start one by one, like, your best friends that were just next to you during this super emotional once-in-a-lifetime thing, just start piling in, and just start embracing each other, dude, me and Peyton were crying, my boy Sanjin, who was yeah, like, Sanjin, I've never you seen you cry. He wasn't going to cry. He oh, yeah. cried. $5. Public yes, service Sanjin, announcement. Sanjin, you owe me five bucks, buddy, because we shook on it. After it hurts, I'm not crying, Liv. I'm not crying. I'm like, okay. I, I get it. Like, some people just aren't emotional. Yeah. I totally understand. But you owe me five bucks. Venmo, so yeah. cash app, yeah. Zelle. Or you live literally a street over. Just knock on the PayPal. Door, PayPal. Put it on the mailbox. The mailbox. Yeah. Jordan comes in. Ryan comes in. Cam comes in. 
Edgar, Steve, and every, Gabe, everybody it just was, was hugging all of them like back to back. And then everyone else was hugging each other too. Like oh, yeah. it was just emo. It was, it's, I think it's not weird. Like it was emotional for a reason, but it was, it was great. I think to wrap this wedding part up, I just want to, you know, say to y'all, I don't know if y'all have actually thought about this, but I want y'all to like understand how crazy it is. And like, it's rare. And like, I've never seen anything mm. like this to where you, y'all got a collective of people together that are so different and like we come from different places like some people i've only met like a couple times or whatever but y'all made us like all feel like a family like in the reception part that's the party part yeah. yes like we were all like dancing together yeah. and like oh, your yeah. family that, like your uncles me, and stuff that made me so happy seeing you guys happy because that's i know yeah that's what me and Liv day, were talking about cameron's kind of the same way we're all about like we want to make sure everybody around us is taken yeah. care of even though it was our wedding yeah. that's all i was thinking about i was like are they having a good time are they dancing but just seeing you guys like in interact with people from our Arkansas family from you know our Texas Oklahoma family like it was just a great thing to see yeah. it was yeah. like it we was were up amazing. there at last thing we were up there at the honeymoon or honeymoon, uh sweetheart table it's like where me and Liv go and as we're eating and stuff like that and everyone else had already ate or began to eat uh because we had to take some pictures after the the uh, ceremony but we're up there and we were literally like eating and stuff and then we were just like <laughs> like hawking the whole room down we we're like okay they're having fun there okay they're talking that like we were just it was it just goes to show like not to toot our own horns but like even on our day like that's we really we legit we're just talking about like oh i hope i hope she's having fun oh she's talking to your uncle over there did it like it was it was just great to see everybody and then the dancing and way more drinking started and it was really fun so yeah very special time and uh congratulations to y'all but thank you thank you i have a story for i <laughs> what are you saying? Huh? I have a story for something that happened after the wedding that I haven't told anybody, and it might be the most embarrassing story of all time. Y'all um, don't know this. I'm very okay. scared. Let's hear it. <laughs> Liv said her what? stomach hurts. <laughs> so, God, please don't judge me. Like, please don't judge me. No judgment here. So after the wedding, uh, some no of the, <laughs> after the wedding, some of the bridal party went out to a club yeah. downtown we Oklahoma. We did go to the club. So. When we went, it's so embarrassing. Like, I don't want to say this. You have to go for it. You know what he's going to say? No, no, I was there, but I'd, I'd have no idea. So when we got to the club, as soon as we walked in, I got recognized for the podcast, right? The yeah. bouncer recognized me, said, oh my God, you're from TikTok. He oh. was recognized like 30 <gasps> times. Yeah, exactly. So, and he, like, as soon as we walked in, I wasn't expecting it because this is all new to me, right? Like people yeah. like being like fans or wanting to take pictures with me is all new and I'm not used to it. So it's, and I'm awkward, so I don't know how to act. Oh, so goodness. the first person I see says, Peyton, I love your stuff, man. Can I take a picture with you? All this stuff, take a picture with them. I swear it. Through the duration of the club, it happens like eight or nine more times. Like, not even exaggerated. I'm taking mm -hmm. pictures with people. I'm dapping people up. Like, it's a really cool thing. So, at this point, I got a little bit of alcohol in my system. So, anytime somebody's coming up to me, I'm bit. thinking that they want a picture with me. Like, they want to meet me, take a picture with me. So, whenever, like, I dap them up, like, hey, thank you for watching. And they say, let's get a picture. I take the picture. It comes down to the end of the night. It's like 140. The club's about to close. We're all... 140? What time do clubs close? Two. two. God, oh. she's such a mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, so we're... It's like 140. The club's about to close. Everybody that we came with is feeling good. I've taken about 10 pictures at this time. People coming up to me. Everybody that has come up to me has taken a picture with me. I'm standing on the wall, dancing to the music. This guy comes up to me. And he's like, hey, man, I love your podcast, bro. You're so funny. Your story about this, whatever, whatever. I dab him up and say, thank you so much. This man doesn't walk away. Oh, he no. stays right beside me and starts dancing. <gasps> and he, I see him <gasps> keep looking at me. So I'm like, okay, am I supposed to do something here? Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't what know if I'm Did I miss exactly. a social cue? How did I miss this? Exactly. So as soon as he's standing for about a minute and a half, I tap him on the shoulder. I'm like, hey, bro, you want to take a picture with me? <laughs> <laughs> but you already did that. No. He didn't want the picture. No, he didn't want to. He said, hell no. <laughs> he looks at me. He looks at me. And he goes, he goes, uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh that, my Peyton. God! When I tell you, my heart hit my oh, ass, yeah. bro. Like yeah. I was like, oh, okay, 
yeah thank you for watching the videos though <laughs> we had to leave right after that but that might be the most because <laughs> i'm like it wasn't me thinking like i'm like the shit and like everybody wants to take a picture with me i just was like in this mode of like i've taken a lot of pictures tonight and he was just standing there awkwardly. and he was just standing there next to me and i was like you want a picture he goes and the fact that he like sat and thought about it for a while like that makes it 10 times worse like yeah. don't be like mm -hmm. he, and he was still jigging while he was, yeah. he was like uh, i'm good was, okay but there was a lot of like weird creatures at the, i got headbutted Whoa. <laughs> within the first 10 minutes i told you that. <laughs> wait what happened headbutted what i guess you I were got physically assaulted <laughs> yes. This he had to have been on something. I don't know. I told you this, Peyton. I was. <laughs> Anyways, we're all standing there. We're all in this like this little circle, just trying to like figure out where we're gonna stand and whatnot. We're sitting there. This guy he keeps bumping into me, and he's obviously like messed up. And he just keeps bumping into me, and then he literally just goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and oh, I was. I looked at him, and I was like. And then I think it was Javante that was standing next to me. He was like, bro, did you just headbutt her? <laughs> and I was like, he did. And so I like pushed him away because he was like bumping into me still. And then I told Jordan and Jordan was like, I don't think he believed me because he laughed and like turned around. I wouldn't have believed that <laughs> and either. And I told Who's Peyton and he was like, huh? And then like yeah, they had these fog that. machines going off and it was like, it, yeah. I got headbutted. Yeah, so while y'all were in the honeymoon suite, we were out here getting physically assaulted and embarrassed. Yep, there was no headbutt where we were at. Yeah. Uh, um, shoot. Since we're all here and this is a pretty uh, a fun group, uh, I think we should do some, like, would you rather scenarios or something like that. I don't mm. have anything prepared, so I'm sorry that I just kind of threw that on y'all. Do you have any, like, would you rathers you want to talk about? Yeah. All right, so some would you rathers. Anybody got anything? Ashlyn, you got something? I will go first. Okay. Would you rather... Fight a chicken every day, every time you get in your car. Oh. Would you rather fight a lion once a year? I'm terrified of chickens. I got. But I'm talking about chicken. every time you get in the car. So you go to the store, you got to fight the chicken before you make it to the store. Say so you forget something at the store. So once you get home and you got to get back in the car. On. Exactly. Wait, do okay. I get any, well, do I get any weapons? I don't know anything. Gonna, yeah. I don't. Am I armed? What'd you just say? <laughs> Lives over there talking about, I'm taking the lion. I said, all right, I'd be a widow because you're going to lose. You have no faith in me. No. I you versus Tyson. a lion? I'm sorry that I don't have. my Mike Tyson hands. I don't. You, I yeah, she is. She, she, she has does, the heaviest hands in the world. If you went to a punch lion? a lion, it'd eat your whole arm. Liv. It would eat you in one goal. Okay, the correct answer is if you're unarmed, chicken every day. Yeah. You kick it as hard well, as you can. Well, I don't know if you're armed it's or not. It, it doesn't specify. <laughs> okay, we're going to assume you're unarmed. Whatever. If anyone in here chooses a lion, you, then y'all are delusional. Hold on. You're really thinking you can beat a lion. <laughs> I'm going to try the best I can. <laughs> that doesn't what? matter. No, because you can try the best crazy. you can to beat Usain you Bolt in a, a race. It's not happening. Every chicken, time you're going you, to, you, might, you might die from a chicken too. Like those pegs. They, yeah, stuff. those pegs. Like you might hurt yourself. Or they might hurt you, sorry. I don't even know what camera to look at right <laughs> what now. What are we talking about? Every time you get in the car, boom, boom, chicken. <laughs> it is a chicken. Okay, y'all are grown men. Maybe y'all can fight a off chi a chicken. Have you fought a chicken? I can't fight. No one can fight off a lion. We're grown men, and we said no to the but lion. It's once a year. I could be training that whole time to fight this lion. <laughs> Have you ever been to the zoo? Who do you think you are? Have you ever been Mike to the Tyson. zoo? <laughs> yeah. Hey, they don't hold chickens behind glass panes okay, and okay. bars. But you know, like the geese at the ponds, how they chase people, they're not friendly. So what makes you think chicken are, are friendly? I don't care Ashlyn. how friendly it is. It's not a lion. Oh, Ashlyn and Olivia, you can pick... People kill chickens with their bare hands. Just People, snap at a neck. Just snap the neck. Okay, some lions can be friendly though. Too. You have to get to the neck first. You're fighting him. You're not taking him to a no. You a have to get date. to the neck first. You're not putting a saddle on him, strapping Ashley, up and go. Oh time goodness. out. Ti time out. This is uh, time this out. just shows reason. You, you right know here. what I'll do as soon as I open the door and see a chicken. But it's Grab like, the but chicken. No, the door's not to, open. You have to get the door you open. Have to get the door open. Is a chicken preventing me <laughs> from okay, opening a door? Like yes. And all hey, that guess shit, what? Right? You will never be able to open a door again because you will be deceased. <laughs> You're going to lose and oh, die. Okay, you guys, let me know. Would you rather fight a chicken every time you get in the car? Not every one time. Today, every time every you get in the car. Time. I can no buy a bicycle. No, I don't give a damn what my <laughs> means of transportation is. Or I will would beat, you train all I will, year and no, fight a lion? No, <laughs> I will beat that damn chicken every time I have to go anywhere for a year that I'll never have to do it again in my life. If I try to fight a lion damn with it. unarmed, bare hand, I lose. There's no scenario where that. I beat the lion. You don't know that. 
The fact that y'all are saying what are chickens have y'all seen before? Chickens are crazy. Yes, they're not. Have you lions. been in a chicken coop? You are. You're trying to fight the king of the jungle. <laughs> this is you a know, lion. I'm a Leo. Oh Let God. me not even get into that. Yeah. Do you say you're a Leo? Oh my God. <laughs> She didn't watch last week's. I don't give a damn what the stars say. What, are you going to connect with the lion yes, and be like, don't yes. kill me? Because we're both loyal people. Anywho, um, have you been in a ch chicken coop? Yeah, I also have feet and I can fucking <laughs> kick a chicken. I can't kick a lion. My sister, just my, never sister been in a chicken coop. my sister has 12 chickens in her backyard. Cameron, Those are house chickens. Yeah, she's That's fine. There's like crazy chickens. Like you this don't is, understand. This is actually <laughs> this is boiling nuts. my blood. This is this is unbelievable. Because <laughs> I'm not about to sit here and go round and round with okay, you. Okay, I'm going to end this right now. Decision. I'm going to end this right now. Okay. Oh. Would you rather me bring a chicken into Yushino Studios right now and okay. just have it sit there? Or, or, would you, or would you rather me go to the Dallas Zoo and bring a lion okay, on a leash all, right lions, here. Well, they let you swim attack. with they let lions you swim with lions in Florida. You're like messing with them, Olivia. Like, why do you think he's just gonna come over here and pounce on it? So the you said I can go buy one from from PetSmart oh and just have God. it in my house. Oh hey, my hey, God. hey, hey! They let the you swim with lions. At, in a sanctuary in Florida. Yeah, they also let you swim with Shamu, and he's taking a couple of lives with him too. I the don't fact, do no, it. The fact that you're saying they let you swim with them, <laughs> like they have to have a certain trip. You can see a chicken. There's no rules. There's no waiver. There's not behind glass panes. A chicken could be anywhere. They are having to let you be in the same proximity as a lion. I Think hear about you. what you just I said. I hear you. Lions never I hear are you. Just out to just kill people. This like, is un. This they're is predators. This it's the same thing with sharks. They say sharks don't want people. All right. That is equivalent to you saying, would you have to kick a, a catfish and fight off a catfish or a shark? That is not the same thing. It's actually a really good comparison. And a catfish might be pound for pound harder to beat than a chicken. Yeah, It's going to be swimming around. We're done with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. just that blew was, my mind. Who has, who has I have another one. one. I, my original one is not I'm even... so I'm, sweaty, bro. Yeah, it's very hot in here. And my, oh, my I'm blood so is boiling right now. You should know what the... Fan. Yeah, hey, use that promo code for hey, Manscaped. Get us a fan. He's got a P.O. box if you want to send a fan. I don't have a P.O. box. We'll, g we'll get you a P.O. box. <laughs> <laughs> send it to my house. Where did she get that from? Most, <laughs> people, have a Most box. people have P.O. boxes. What? Like, do, do you YouTube, y'all have P.O. Lions, lions are friendly. Lions Shut are up. Do I'm go not ahead. even getting into that. Go ahead. Yeah, say go it. Go I'm ahead. going to say mine. I'm about to pass out. Here we go. I'm feeling antsy. <laughs> I forgot the actual... I kind of so forgot it, but I'm good. It was a question that I heard. You want me it was to something go? about no. I don't want you to go. <laughs> I want. Well, you were sitting there thinking about okay, it. Okay, basically, it's not a would you rather, but it's it's more itch. of like a it's more of like a situation. All right. Would you take? Uh, let, uh, let's see. We'll go ten million dollars. Okay. Okay. Would you take ten million dollars? A briefcase, ten million dollars cash, non-taxable, like ten million dollars to your name. Mm -hmm. It's not fake money, drug money, nothing. Ten million dollars, right? You get it, keep it, do whatever you want. But for the rest of your life. A snail moving as slow as a snail moves is coming after you. If it ever okay, touches okay, if lost. it ever Why touches you, you die. If it ever touches you, you die. Yes. So Easy. You, yeah. Okay. Because if I get on a plane, well, good luck, snail see you in twenty forty three. Yeah, but you're gonna come back home. Or I just move. Yeah, exactly. But do you want to move? You wanna move away from your friends, family, and everything? Well, you have just to, if I have well, ten million, million dollars, I'll take you with me. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. I'll take the 10 million. Yeah, good job, Cam. That sucked. Okay, <laughs> with mine. All right. It's not like the coolest or like, you know. I might have butchered that one. Let me know no, in the I comments. Heard, you said it right. I think I, it's something along like that. It's my turn. Yeah, oh. go. Would you rather have no eyelashes or no eyebrows? No eyelashes. No eyelashes. Easy. No eyelashes. Easy. easy. Yeah, okay. I'd look like my brother without eyebrows. <laughs> you just aired him out like if that. You, if you don't have eyebrows... First, okay, first off, my eyebrows are very faint, very on the blonde hemisphere. You look but very creepy without eyebrows. I okay. Like well, imagine that. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. No. It just makes you look like a Q-tip, like a a cue ball, a toothpick, Q-tip, cheese stick, that anything kind of, I don't that's know why a smooth. I that one because I guess eyelashes, you really don't like. Some people just. Don't some people have, literally don't. don't okay, I'm gonna go back to the original one. Here we go. I'm a I'm gonna play it up for y'all. This is a long podcast. It is. Sorry. They're gonna like it. Would you rather only be able to whisper everything you say, no matter the circumstance? Or would you rather only be able to shout everything you say at any given time? Well, I already talk loud, so I'm going to go with shout. Okay, you're at a funeral. I loved him a lot. He meant a lot to me. People, people wouldn't know. Like I could have like something wrong with me where I just have to shout. 
They don't. I, have to, I don't have to disagree <laughs> with them. You could have some. You could have some wrong with you. You just have to whisper. Good, but I would rather shout. Practicality. Because all the time you're like, what'd you say? Did you say that? What'd no, you say? I think I added an extra letter. Because <laughs> practi- an extra syllable. I wouldn't want to whisper because I grew I up being very soft spoken, practi- and I used to hate ordering at Subway practi- because you have to talk over the glass, yes, and they'd always practi- be like, practi- like what'd you what, say? "What do you want? You what is that?" I would cry. I would cry. It would be having to order my food. It would be sorry. What'd you say? Sorry, I hear you. What'd you say? So Could you repeat that one more time for me? Sorry. I didn't quite catch that one right there. What That's one of our favorite Cameron? TikToks. Uh, let's see. Three seconds. If I had to answer, always whisper, always shout. Ready? One, two. I'm going to go shout. Shout. Mm, yeah. mm. Basketball, mean? teaching, coaching. I'm not going to get any respect and anything done going, get your ass on the baseline. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, r- my kids run would not respect me. I was like, okay, guys. Come. Well, some teachers do speak like this. Like, teach your own. Like, that's fine, but that's yeah. not my style. Yeah, no. I can't whisper at my kids. They'd be like, who is Do you have one? Or are we wrapping this joint up? I think we're going to wrap it up because it's, it's... It is lengthy, it's but long. y'all are welcome. If you like the length, if not, skim through. <laughs> just yeah, there's timestamps, so they skip to the parts that they want. Um, So, I just want to thank uh, Ashlyn, Liv, Cam for coming on the You Should Know podcast. I'm going to leave all their socials down below. Y'all go ahead and follow them. Go ahead and follow me on TikTok, on Instagram. If you want one of the cool hoodies or cool shirts that no one's wearing right now, go to youshouldknowstudios.com. Hey, secret code. What's going to be the secret code for mm. this week's uh, episode? PPB. No. 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 Just the no. abbreviation. PPB. No. Oh. What's the secret code? What's so at the end of every episode, for the people that are loyal and are really fans of the podcast that stick to the very so end, they get a secret. Not live. <laughs> yeah, not live. They get a secret code at the end of the episode to comment, and it confuses everybody else. So we're going to have a code. They have to wait till the end to see it. They yeah. have a code. All right, here we go. Ready? CK28. Re- what? <laughs> Did you say? Was that a password? Yeah, CK28. <laughs> CK28? What's 28? The day we got married, and CK is my initial. Oh, no, that's really good. CK28, that's going to be y'all's code. That, sorry. That's marriage. All right, let's say it on the count of three, Liv. Tell them. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. CK28. That's must the code. Be nice. Secret code. <laughs> See, y'all made fun of me. And then our secret code can be must be nice. Must be nice. MBN. NBN. NBN or must be nice everyone is but but guys thank you so much for watching another episode of the you should know podcast <laughs> season two episode 11 go and get your good karma if you haven't already and remember one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to christmas i'll see you guys next time